Good day learners and welcome to section B of the IEB papers for 2022 and 2023. Let's go and have a look at what they've been asking and what we need to prepare for. So here you can see from um, November 2022, they're asking us what, an, what the office suite is. Um, they want us to talk about the unit of measurement to describe resolution. One disadvantage of capturing an image with poor resolution. Well, your image is not going to be clear. Software bugs. Um, those are things that came up in grade 10. I, I just want to give you this tip. Please go through the grade 10 flashcards that I've got and the grade 11 flashcards that I've got on Gizmo. If you're using your textbook, go through 10 and 11 as well because it's all going to help you. Look here. Utility programs. Metadata. Use a USB cable to connect. You use a USB cable to connect to a smartphone or to connect a smartphone to your PC. Although the cable is properly connected, the devices do not communicate with each other. Suggest two ways to solve this problem. Two ways to check the actual size of a hard drive on the Windows PC using the GUI. Okay. Um, disabled people using the computer. How are you going to help them to do that? What is Creative Commons? Guys, go through the PowerPoints that I've put out there. <laughs> it's going to help you explain what a Creative Commons license generally is. So I actually just, I think that is something that I want you just to understand. So we get the correct definition of that as well. And there they tell us. The Creative Commons is a copyright agreement, and you can see you get a mark for that, that allows anyone to use and share the content under certain conditions from the copyright holder. Okay. Then moving on, this, I mean, I've emphasized, sure, I've emphasized this so many times, the specs of the PC, and look at the questions that they're asking. What is meant by an all-in-one POS system? It means everything is built into one device. All integrated, the keyboard, the screen, everything. Why would 64 gigs SSD have a suitable capacity for a restaurant POS device? It's not, it's not much going on here. It's not like you're saving a whole lot of files and things um, on there as well. Two disadvantages of using touch screens. Um, why would you zip or compress a file? Please, optical media. Yeah, they're saying you wish to store files, but you don't have enough space on your device. Um, which optical media would you recommend to store some files? Now, please remember when we talk about optical media, we're talking about CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray. Then the next section on, whoa, sorry, I went too far. On the internet and network technology, so everything around our internet our networks um, so you can see bookmarking sites what type of network would we use isps netiquette rules search engine web browser the internet of things buffering when streaming yeah that's that's what you find there information management usually just um, focuses on like surveys questionnaires um, references, that type of thing. So that's why we see citations, bibliographies, disadvantages of closed and open, qu open ended questions. Um, so it's really theory questions on some of the practical things. And then social implications is usually the last one, that and solution development. Uh, solution development usually focuses on purely practical work. So there you can see all the prac work and they're asking you usually related to things like errors, correcting certain things. Why does this look like that? Um, so, yeah, we see that. And then I just want to jump back to question seven because I didn't finish that. The social implications, bots and zombies. What's the difference? What is a DDoS, a denial of service attack? What is spoofing? Um, we're looking at the risks of social media. Um, reducing the risk of the computer getting infected by a virus. And again, what is AI? You can add to that what is AR, what is VR as well. Okay, so that was from 2022. Let's have a look at 2023 and see if it's any different. Okay, let me go up here. So section B, 2023. Okay, what is data? What's an ICT system? Input, 
output um, information processing cycle um, spooling when it comes to a printer or network printer defragmentation what do we have new monitor connecting to a computing device displays a resolution error message where would you change the resolution two advantages of convergence two reasons why a company would choose grid computing so convergence grid computing firewalls um, bottlenecks how do you solve bottlenecks in the data flow that appear in local storage areas so this is what you'll find in your system technologies then on the internet side of things the fourth industrial revolution we see the network interface controller video conferencing wireless networking there's your pan um, there they give us our connections with our isp and maybe ask you just a few questions on that information management you can see here you've got things with your pet your task definition um, things again just questions really related to um, some of the work that you've been doing and again like we saw in 2022 your question is um, what spreadsheet feature would you use to show this on a chart so the scenario over here um, why evaluation is essential two criteria for evaluating websites these are things we did in the pet okay question seven what is ICT? Does it have an impact on the global community? Uh, positive or negative? In this case, I want you to describe the positive effect. Two common internet attacks other than malware. Um, protecting our data. The responsibilities of a network administrator. So what does the network administrator do? Remember we said when you have a network, you need someone who has got specialized skills in order to actually um, deal with that. So what does that person do? Think of your local IT person within your school. Say two ways our company can prevent data loss when unscheduled power failures occur. Well, you can have a UPS. I mean, that's the first thing. So if anything goes down, you still have time to shut down. And, you know, regularly saving as well. Okay. Um, then solution development following the same thing. It's basically theory questions based on practical work and that takes us then to the end of section b and you can see now um, even for those who are with the the ieb you can see they follow the same structure so whether you are writing for the ieb whether you are writing for the dbe if you take all of this and you put all of this together folks you will be more than well prepared more than adequately prepared in order to really get the best marks possible Thank you.